Welcome to Real Food. And today I'm going to review um, a very unusual food supplier. They're called Fine Food Specialist. They do have a website and um, you see um, these gorgeous, amazing um, um, shaped um, pumpkins um, that I ordered from them. But the way I found them was something else. Um, I recently tried uh, from a Peruvian restaurant a grilled padron peppers, these green um, little peppers which are lightly grilled in olive oil and um, eaten with salt. I was looking for them and I couldn't find them anywhere. Supermarkets don't sell them, your typical conventional ones. And even more specialist are places like um, um, Whole Foods or Planet Organic, I couldn't find them anywhere. And this place, um, I was searching for them, had them um, av available, fresh. So I was really, really excited, and I thought, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try this, um, this web, web company, and see how, how it works. And, um, and I'm really, really pleased with them. They actually have um, several different sections um, on their website, and you can choose from specialty Spanish foods, specialty French foods, American, etc. So if you're looking for something very, very special, um, you actually um, have a good chance of finding it there. And another thing I'm really excited is that they use DPD as their courier, delivery courier, and I have really, really good DPD delivery service in my area in London. So they deliver um, on time, they give you a time slot, they tell you um, literally, you know, for, you know, they give you a one or two hour time slot and they're usually very good, they usually stick to this time slot and deliver on time. So I'm really, really pleased. So what I'm going to show you today is um, a selection of um, uh, treats and unusual foods that I ordered from them. They have a huge um, array of, of different interesting foods, but I just wanted to give it a try and um, and, and it's now autumn, so it's, um, um, it's pumpkin time. And look at this tray. Uh, they had this amazing tray of, um, um, well, they call them ornamental, but I think, you know, it's okay to eat them, these pumpkins. Um, I have eaten some of them before and, um, and they are delicious. Um, another reason why I wanted um, to order this tray from them is um, um, that I'm growing my own urban garden in my balcony and these small sized pumpkins might be ideal for perhaps next year. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to eat these gorgeous uh, pumpkins in soups, in, in, in salads, etc. And I'm going to save seeds um, and I'm going to use these seeds to grow these gorgeous, um, unusually shaped um, pumpkins. Um, look at them. This is absolutely amazing. I mean, they, they look like wor works of art, really. It's just incredible. Um, these are more conventional looking, but still, look at the size, miniature, gorgeous. I mean, they're just enough, you could just um, grill this one or use it in a soup. Just one single pumpkin will do. Um, and this one looks amazing. They all look like um, um, uh, something works of art from another planet, and yet this is still planet Earth. <laughs> so they, they're really gorgeous. I really like them. So I was really, really pleased. You know, I, I always I saw them in, in on display um, in um, in shops, and whenever I asked them um, in, in most shops, they would just say, "Oh no, no, no! This is not for sale. This is just to to attract you to get you into our shop." <laughs> you know. So I thought, "Yeah, it works." But I would love them, and now I found this whole tray. And I'll, I'll tell you, it's a good value too. Um, it's not very expensive. I'll look at this one. This is absolutely amazing. Such color, such beautiful shape. I really love them. So I'll be looking for interesting recipes. I don't know yet what I'll be doing with them. So, I, well, obviously I can make soup, I can grill them, I can use them in salads. Um, but I will also look for something for in more interesting recipes. So if you have any interesting ideas or recipes you would like to share, please do comment um, below. I'm really keen to um, to learn what I could do with these gorgeous pumpkins. And then I will try and do exactly um, as you recommend in your comments. So, but also to show you what else I ordered. Um, 
Um, these gorgeous Quince fruits, look at them. I've actually grown one of these uh, Quinces myself, and let me show you um, one of my Quinces in my balcony. Well, this is the small Quince fruit I've grown um, on my own Quince tree in my balcony, but this is really, oh, it's it's got such beautiful ar ar aromatic um, aromatic smell. Um, I really, I just keep it um, to um, to enjoy looking at it and to and to smell it occasionally because it's such a beautiful fruit. But I also um, found that um, they do grow in Britain and in Europe fairly easily, but it's not very easy to actually purchase them because, again, supermarkets, for some reason, your conventional Tesco's and Sainsbury's and even Waitrose, they don't stock them. Even though they've got really good shelf life, this fruit could be on the shelf for weeks, if not months, and it won't um, actually spoil or, or nothing will happen to it. But they just don't do it. I don't know, maybe because not everybody knows what to do with them, and it is indeed uh, not an easy task. I mean, if you eat them raw, it's very difficult. They're very tough and very astringent, and um, it, it, it's just, you have to prepare them, you have to cook them. So maybe I guess that's why, but I absolutely love them. They're delicious. You can make um, lovely jams, jellies, um, slices that could be used with cheeses and in salads. They're absolutely amazing. Okay, so I ordered um, these, um, and you know the, the weight you you order from this company is like half a kilo. So these two giant um, are, are about half a kilo. So obviously my gorgeous padron peppers. Look at these green peppers. This is what I I, I was in fact looking for um, when I found this um, supplier, um, and they're so delicious. And they're, um, they're relatively easy to cook. Uh, you literally wash them and you grill them as they are, whole, um, in olive oil. They become soft um, and um, even more aromatic. And um, you, you just use a little bit of salt, some spices maybe, and, um, and they are eaten as a meal or as a snack or as a side dish. Absolutely delicious. Another thing that I'm terribly excited to show you and again, this is something that's not really available readily from normal conventional supermarkets. Um, this is mangosteens. Um, the, there are other suppliers of mangosteens. They, they don't grow in Europe, sadly. Um, they typically come from warmer climates, from, from South Asia, and Malaysia, and Thailand, those kind of regions. Um, you know what, I, I tried them last year for the first time in my life, and I have to say, um, of all the exotic fruits, um, in terms of flavour and in terms of texture and what it does in my mouth, <laughs> these, are, they're just incredible. You know, it's I, I can't compare them to anything else. Um, they're so fragrant, so delicious, so sweet, um, the right amount of sweetness, the right amount of sourness, the right amount of flavour and um, some aromatic um, element about them. So, and you know what, and I can't even compare, I, I really can't compare them to anything else. I mean, they're so unusual and so delicious. So I was really pleased that this same company um, also, and they come in these lovely bags and in these plastic temperature controlled containers on top of these and below um, there are ice packs so um, um, they arrive in absolutely amazing condition so there's no spoilage or breakage so this is soft there's, um, there's ice um, above and below and um, it's absolutely amazing I'm really pleased with this company so far so you can see their logo logo here so fine well, and let me show you what what else I ordered so this huge piece is um you'll see maybe the logo here fine food special well this is a large piece of um fat <laughs> really well this is um lard and it's um, salted and maybe slightly spiced um piece of lard and in italy it's called italian lardo Lardo um, or lard or in um, you know other cult countries and um, cultures use them um, are basically um, you can see um, sort of medium sized slice well this is a large so slice um, this is fat literally uh, typically pig fat which has been um, salted and cured and processed and um, and it can be I mean it's absolutely delicious you know what you do with this and again 
it's hard to find it in many places, but they are a source of very important amino acids and fatty acids, which are, are very difficult to source from other ingredients. So you slice, you, you, you prepare very thin slices, and you use it instead of butter. Um, like very thin slices um, can be put on bread, uh, could be added to hot dishes, uh, porridge or, or other um, dishes, or can be eaten um, by themselves, those very thin slices. I mean, it's a very specialty type of food, again, and I have been looking for it. And uh, um, unfortunately, they did, I would probably order a smaller size because this is too big for me. Um, but it, it stores really, really well. And you can keep it for quite a long time and just use as, as much as you need at a time. So I was really pleased that this company, again, had this um, in stock and they could deliver. Another thing, they not only they have fresh foods, but they also have... Um, um, cans and and you know for example this um, tuna, but again this is a very special tuna. This is not your typical um, um, uh, tuna. This is ventresca, and what ventresca is? Ventresca is a very fatty. It's a belly. It's tuna's belly where there are, there are thick layers of fat, and the meat there is particularly tender. It's very tender. It's you know what again? Until I tried. Um, this belly, uh, fatty belly of tuna. Uh, I I wasn't very keen on tuna in general. Um, you know, I, I, mean, I like fish, um, and and I would eat tuna, but it never actually inspired me. Um, but when I tried this um, cut of tuna, I, I absolutely changed my mind. And you know what? In Japanese restaurants, they serve fresh uh, tuna belly, fatty tuna, and they call it otoro. Um, there are variations of otoro, and again, this is a very high, very highly prized, high high price um, cut of tuna. It's in the in the belly region, and it's it's very fatty and very tender and very very delicious. So it's very very highly prized in Japan as well. So if you order otoro, um, you um, will be given fresh, uh, sushi style or sashimi style um, cuts of this belly, and again, it's. It's unlike any other type of tuna you've ever eaten, really. It's it's just amazing. So I'm really, really pleased with this. And also, um, as a as a you know, to try you know this company and to see how special their food really is, I ordered another something very special. And again, it's it's from their Japanese section. And their Japanese section had kobo beef. I don't know if you if you ever heard of Kobe beef, Kobe or Kobo, uh, Kobe beef. Um, they they also often call it Wagyu beef in Japan. Um, it's a region of Japan, Kobe, uh, where um, they look after cows with with so much care, so much love, and and you know it's incredible. I mean, they're given daily massage therapies. They're given highest quality food. Um, they're taken for walks, they're brushed um, with brushes, their hairs are brushed, um, they're even played a classical music. I mean, they, they really make such an effort to look after these beautiful animals. And I'm generally not a huge meat eater. I prefer these gorgeous vegetables. But when I do, um, I discovered Kobe beef, and you know what, again, it's from another world. It's just from another world. It's so smooth, it's so... Um, beautifully textured. It's it's got lots of fatty layers. You know what? I ordered a piece, and I'm going to show you. So it again, it came in this um, temperature-controlled container. Oh, this is a smaller one. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like when it comes here. There's ice packs, and um, inside those ice ice packs, you can see this cut of beef. And you can see how much fat there is in there. And it's literally um, small pieces of meat are, are layered with these um, generous, juicy pieces of fat. And you see, and that what makes Kobe beef is so special. It really is um, an incredible. Um, if you've never tried, you know, I highly recommend. Um, uh, so. Um, this is my, you know, I tried this company for the first time, um, and, um, you know, I'll just 
say I think this has been you know this review has been going on for a while now so I'll just say that um, they do have really amazing um, pieces of food which you can't find anywhere else so hopefully this review will convince you so you have these you know amazing um, pieces of fatty tuna um, you know Kobe beef um, mangosteens from from warmer countries and climates they've got this um, amazing cured um, lardo um, la fat lard from Italy uh, padron peppers uh, which are very popular in Spain and Latin American countries and look at these gorgeous pumpkins so I, I'm really now looking forward to um, preparing uh, delicious things with all these gorgeous fruits vegetables and meats um, so hopefully um, you um, you enjoy watching this um, review and you can perhaps try yourself this um, something from this company um, uh, there will be a link um, in the, in this video below and um, if you discover similar companies I'm always looking for something like this because again we're still in this sort of semi lockdown situation in London where proper shopping is is you know you, you can go out shopping but it's it's a hassle you have to wear a face covering you have to do this you have to do that shops close early um and um some shops have never even opened after the, the the main lockdown some smaller shops that relied on you know a stream of customers so it's um knowing that there are these delivery companies that can provide such amazing um foods for you is really really good so um let me wish you um a good evening good weekend or or if you are on holiday a good holiday and uh, we'll chat again soon